What is up, hackers? Welcome back to another episode of Hack Crypto, where we hack all of our crypto education. If you guys are brand new here, be sure to be subscribed with notifications on for my next fire video. Now, in this episode, I'm going to be going over Safe. This used to be Gnosis Safe, which is a multi sig platform that allows for institutions, individuals, and everyone to have a bit of a bus insurance, is what it's called in the tech industry. So, to kick things off, what is multi sig? Multi sig at its most basic level is basically instead of one person having to send a transaction, two or three or more people have to sign for that transaction to be sent. So if I traditionally am using a crypto wallet and I'm sending a transaction, I click confirm and that's easy to ready to go. Now with multiple signatures, if I try to send a transaction, two, maybe three other people need to sign for that transaction. Most of the time it's one other individual if you're a small company, but some bigger companies will have multiple signatures that are required to send that transaction. Why is this important? This is important because not all of the concentration risk is on one individual and there are layers of security there where you have, if somebody's wallet gets compromised, they can't withdraw or move those funds if there are multiple signatures that are required to withdraw and move those funds. One of the coolest parts about SAFE is that it makes it easy. It makes it simple to use. I remember back in the day in like 2014 or so when people were just getting drained left and right, meaning that their wallets were getting hacked by phishing attempts and all these crazy things things that were going on back then around Mt. Gox's time, people were just getting hacked left and right. So a really key part to this is the simplicity, the UI, the user experience is very well done. And this has been around for a long time. And I want to go through some of the rough numbers as to what they have done over the last few years. 75 million transactions on safe multi-sigs have taken place. A hundred billion in total assets are stored and secured by safe wallets and 9.9 .9 million wallets have been deployed on safe. That is a remarkable number. And it was probably gonna be 10 million by the time this video is live, but those are huge numbers to be putting up in this space. So not only is it an easy on-ramp for people and the most secure and easy to use multi-sig wallet out there, they have something called sponsored gas. Now I've talked about this dozens of times over the last few years. And my favorite part of safe is that they're able to sponsor gas transactions, meaning that I can contribute some funds to allowing other people to have that gas paid for. So if I'm onboarding to the Web3 space, traditionally I would need to go and purchase crypto and then send it to that wallet and put dust in there so that I can actually transact. But having this sponsored gas program means that there will be some gas fees uh, covered in that wallet when I'm signing up. Safe having been around for so many years, they are battle tested. This thing has been audited up, down, sideways, all over the place. They spend a million dollars a year on security. And when you spend a million a year on security, you get the best of the best using your product. They have platforms like Polygon, One Inch, Aave, Balancer, Chainlink, ENS, or Ethereum Nain service, all using multi sig wallets on Safe. And for the people that are listening to this, when you're on a team, if you're not familiar with like a startup or a small business that is you know, in the Web3 space, when you're on a team, often different departments are sending different transactions to different people, different vendors, however many people you have on team, maybe you are on payroll, you have to have some level of verification because you gotta read that wallet address, you gotta confirm their ENS, and you gotta make sure that things are going through to the right people. And that's one of the benefits of crypto and also its downfall is self-sovereignty. Everybody is responsible for that transaction. So when you split that up across a couple different humans that are verifying things using multiple brains instead of one, you have more security and you also have a peace of mind knowing, okay, we are verifying transactions before they're going out to these individual vendors, employees, whatever it is. And there are 15 chains that are using this right now. You have Avalanche, you have Polygon, of course, you have Scroll, Gnosis Chain, which is their own blockchain, Arbitrum, Base, Celo, all these different networks that are operating on this. So all those networks can participate. So the four different case studies here for how people are using this, I believe the top one is institutions. The large organizations are using this because they have multiple layers already to send a payment. If you're not familiar with working with larger enterprise companies, there's a vendor onboarding process. There's all sorts of verifications that take place, company addresses and all sorts of crazy details that go into these large, large, large companies. So institutions, easy use case here multiple layers to send out a transaction. You need to go and confirm with individuals, your CFO, your operations, your marketing department, all those individuals are connected through these multi-sig wallets and they're able to send transactions to make payments. Now that is the number one use case outside of individuals. Of course you have your consumers that are using this 
where maybe a loved one is your other counter signature. Then we have social and identity. This is also applicable to things like NFTs and all the different assets, digital assets. Before you transfer them, you want to have somebody sign that transaction. So you're able to put that layer in defense, because if you think about it, if I get my wallet compromised by getting a phishing link or something like that, and my wife or someone else has a signature on that multi-sig wallet, that hacker can't withdraw those funds. I could back it up using my private key to another wallet and start over. So it's very important to know that having that layer of security in there prevents from breaches from happening because you're it's not just you anymore. You have a, another signature. And then of course you have staking, restaking, things like that. So you have the ability to move around when you have multiple people helping on that signature. So in addition to that sponsored gas piece that I love about this project, they have the DAO. So there is the SAFE DAO. The entire SAFE project is governed by the SAFE DAO, formerly the Gnosis DAO. And that is how this operates. People submit proposals. It goes in front of core contributors and people in the community and everybody votes on it and things pass. And that is incentivized by the SAFE token. There's a governance hub where core contributors go, and it is a really brilliant way of approaching something like a multi-sig wallet, because obviously like it is, multiple people can contribute to it, kind of like a multiple signature wallet. So you have a really, really good approach to how the actual operations are going in the system itself. I am super bullish on SAFE, not only because institutions are using it, but ultimately individuals need to use this. They need that security with all the hackers out there, all the like crazy hacks that go on, the phishing hacks and everything going on on L2s, especially because it's cheap to send out mass uh, mass messages. So highly recommend checking this out. The link will be in the description below. This is not a sponsored review. I am just super bullish and I use multi-sig wallets all the time. Highly recommend checking this battle-tested platform out. Easy to use, super seamless. That is it for this episode of Hack Crypto on the Safe Multi-Sig Wallet. If you guys are interested in more types of wallets like this, leave a comment below. Leave a like on this video, gets it out to more people, and I will see you here on the next episode of Hack Crypto.